Hey guys, it's iPod Touch Girl 22, and I decided I'm gonna make a top five iPad apps as of now that I picked, and these are in no particular order. But I'll go ahead and get started. My first one is Grim Joggers, and we'll turn the volume down real quick. Okay, so. I don't know the price of these, but I'll leave that in an annotation. And this one is fairly new. So all you do is you have a group of joggers and tap the right side of the screen, they all jump. And you just want to keep all of them alive as long as possible. Dodge the obstacles such as the spikes. And Yeah, that's pretty much all you do on this app. But it's more exciting than the running apps. There's actually a few of these where you just run with like one man. This one you have lots of people, so it's like you have a lot of lives. And then um, sometimes I get down to like, we'll try to get it down with only one person. Or maybe not. Okay, they both died. So that's my uh, first app I review. Grim Joggers, very fun app. And then the next one is World of Goo. So we'll let it load up real quick. Uh, and I think this one was $4.99. Not sure, I believe it was. Don't know what I just clicked. Go back. We'll start off on the easiest level, level 1, and maybe do another level after that. It's a very simple app. All you do is, I don't know if that's level 1. Oh well. Yeah, it was. You have your little goo balls, I guess, and you're just building them up. It's a, like a physics game. You want to build them up, and you don't want to have them knock over or whatever, and lead them up to the pipe drag and drop to build to the pipe then click the cool continue button and we were supposed to get mm, four and I got a total of nine so we got five extra Woohoo! oh and I'm sorry if I sound like a little sad in this video I don't know maybe um, my cat just died well it didn't just die it ran away I mean it didn't run away it disappeared a couple days ago and we just found out that two dogs attacked it and killed it and another thing is our neighbors think that our dog is the dog that attacked it like they say it looks like the dog that killed it anyways getting off topic there um, there's different goo balls also there's the, um, these it'll take you back a step if you click it click them little white fly ones that fly around and on this level we're just building it up till we get up to the pipe way up here and then I'll show you another one where uh, you actually use a different goo ball and it's the green ones and they actually you can move them around after you place them And I finally figured out how to do this level after seeing the other people who did it. Not like that. Oh well, so that's just another one. And then on all these you'll have the sign. And it's a new species of Google. And he like stalks you or whatever. I am going a little long on this app. The next one is Mini Golf HD. Uh, this one's 99 cents. I do know that. And I just tried it out and it's really fun like not long ago I really like it it's just like mini golf and you have your person you move them around check and then you can aim where you want the ball to go and you're just following along the path to get your ball into the putt putt hole or whatever uh, right here you have how much um, a hardness you want to hit it 
and drag it all the way down and let push um let go of it or whatever uh turn our person around by swiping the screen and then you drag down and then when you get to where you want to hit it you swipe it back forward ah oh, so close so we'll finish this hole real quick and then I'll go into the next app. Yay! And then it has lots of levels, or lots of different putt-putt levels, I guess, for each one. And then it'll keep on getting harder. And then the next one I have app I have is Monster Dash. I think this one is also 99 cents, but this one's actually really fun. It's another one of the dashing games. And all you do is press the jump and press the shoot. Quite obvious, you have different like um, areas, and then you have to shoot each of the different creatures in the different area. And these are devils, and then I think these are devils, right? And then um, you'll get like a box. I guess it'll have like different ammo in it, different guns that you can use that also make it easier to kill these things there we go there went one but I couldn't reach it and on um, this one oh an extra life missed it uh, you can also jump on their heads and you have three lives until you collect more hearts or whatever so this is pretty much all you do is we'll wait till it changes levels okay well not levels changes the arena so now we're at the snow place and now we have to Beat these yetis. And there's also a box where you can collect motor a motorcycle. And then it has faint or game center to where you have different achievements you can unlock. Yay heart. So I'm not gonna be able to finish this game, I don't guess, but there went the motorcycle is the big package. Okay. That was Monster Dash, Dino and Sins. The next one, next one is Plants vs. Uh, not Plants vs. Zombies. This is made by Chilingo. It is Pro Zombie Soccer Apocalypse Edition. This one's also Game Center. And if you want to add me on Game Center, I am IPTG22. All my initials, I guess you could say. So we'll start on level one. Uh, we'll skip all this conversation. He's a guy, and then he gets turned into like, or he's trying to defend himself from being turned into a zombie. And all you do is, you are the guy trying to defend yourself from the zombie, of course. And you just shoot your soccer ball at them. This determines the area, and then uh, drag and up it up from here, and then you aim it at one of them and release. And the longer you hold it down, the more power you get. And the zombies, some of them, it might take two tries to knock them down. Or it might just take one or maybe more. And so this is actually pretty much the entire game. Just defending off the zombies this way. But I think it's actually a really fun app. It does get boring at times, but other than that, it's fun. It has updates to where you can make it more exciting. Upgrades. And so this is pretty much all you do in this app. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. I hope you like my top 5 apps for the iPad. And these are all paid. I haven't found much great, great free apps. And that's probably obvious of... Another two apps I'm not reviewing on here but are also very fun would be, I'm actually making a review of both of them in my, one of my next videos, would be Pages and Splash Top. So you can go like check those out if you want to, but I'm going to be making a review of them later. And another great app is Toontastic. I'll have a review probably of that also. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And sorry for not making a lot of iPod Touch videos either. I'll get back on that. And one other thing. I do have a question. I don't know if any of y'all stuck along around this long, but do y'all have any? Um
suggestions for another app versus app video to do for the iPod Touch, like two apps that are similar, um, you can check out some of my ones I did. I did Pocket God versus Pocket Devil. That got 26,000 views already, and well, it was submitted over a year ago, but it's got 26,000 views and it keeps on gaining more. And so, just tell me two apps that you think I should do an app versus app video of for the iPod Touch. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thumbs up, favorite, subscribe, and comment down below. Yeah, bye. Woo!